Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at the commodities and metals, be it US crude, natural gas, gold, silver, copper, zinc, and even aluminium. And I'll also be discussing about an important and interesting technical concept. So stay tuned till the end of the video to find out and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so that you never miss an update. So without any further ado, let's quickly get into the video, starting with US oil. So here on the weekly chart, we have a hard harmonic pattern and US oil has reversed from the same at 70.09 and is currently resisting from the moving averages. You can also see that it's more or less trading within the range of this particular inside bar that is placed at 70.09 and 82.70. If we move to the daily scale, the first possibility is that US oil can start a fresh leg on the upside provided that it holds on to the harmonic level of 70.09 and then we can say that a near-term base is in place. On the other hand, what if prices do fall below 70.09? In that case, you can see that we have a harmonic pattern on the daily time frame as well and I would be expecting a maximum downside of 65.57 in this counter. The second one is natural gas. You can see here on the monthly time frame of natural gas that we have a strong demand zone which has been tested at some instances in the past and once again natural gas is trading right above the same. Now the interesting thing about this this setup is that it is overlapping with the harmonic reversal zone in the daily time frame as well which is hinting that a maximum downside is capped within this band of 1.696 and 1.993. If you also take a look over here, after the natural gas reversed from the initial reversal zone, it has now retraced back and in such a case, the retracement can be followed by a push on the upside so I'll also keep that possibility open here. Coming up next is gold. Here as you can see from the the top of March 2022, gold was moving in a downward sloping parallel channel and thereafter it gave a very nice breakout on the upside as it moved above this pivot which was at 1729.590. Then it retested this point once again and gave an aggressive move on the upside which was then followed by a reversal. Now gold is at a very interesting juncture and you can see that it's above the key moving averages as well and give, has given a weekly closing in the form of a hammer. So I'm expecting the prices to move on the positive side from here and one can consider the key averages at 1810.234 and 1827.828 as the immediate support for gold. Now let's talk about silver where we have a falling trend line and silver has reversed from the harmonic reversal zone which is coinciding with the trend line right here. Now you can also see that it has retraced and I would be expecting it to start a leg on the upside and an additional confirmation to that would be to sustain above the level of 20 0.43714. Let's talk about copper now. You can see here that on the weekly chart of copper, the structural higher highs and higher low are intact and things would only go south if this structure gets broken. Now there's a simple concept of polarity which says that support and resistance reverse their roles. Let me explain taking the example of copper itself. As you can see here that copper face supply pressure from this level which can be termed as a resistance. Now as the price broke through the resistance and tested it again, the balance between demand and supply was created and the earlier resistance has now turned into support. So now that copper is placed right at the support, either it can bounce off from here and test the falling trend line or if it breaks through this level, it would mean that the higher high and higher low structure is coming to an end or if it breaks through this level, it would mean that the higher high and higher low structure is coming to an end and we can see some pressure in this counter as well. Next on the list is zinc. So the bigger picture in zinc is quite stable as of now as you can see that the highs have gotten higher and the lows have remained protected. So here on the daily chart of zinc you can see that it is trading right above the pivot at 311.40 and the setup is simple. If zinc takes out this pivot then I would be expecting it to fall into this wide potential reversal zone of about 8 points from 291.04 to 298.21 and thereafter we can see some relief or positive shift in this counter as well. Coming to the last one which is aluminium. Starting with the monthly chart where you can see that aluminium picked up from the polarity zone which happens to be around 175 to 176 levels. Now moving on to the daily chart we can see that the immediate support level is this pivot B at 185.48 
But what if this gets broken down? Then the maximum possible downside would be 180.87 to 176.78, which also aligns with the higher degree demand zone that we just saw a couple moments ago. So on that note, it's Gurleen signing off. Until we meet again, have a great time.